Our next report features Sang Gaban. We visited their glass plant in Yorkshire to discuss the recent £30 million investment in the plant. The investment will allow them to increase production capacity and produce glass using less energy with higher levels of recycling and more innovation. A reporter has more. At Sangaban's East Yorkshire factory, where the company has just invested £30 million to build a new, higher output, more energy efficient furnace, this old and broken glass is about to be reborn. This is one of our most precious resources. This is the cullet that we use here at Egbra. So we're currently recycling more than 40% of all our materials using cullet rather than virgin raw materials. So this is going to come back through our cullet recycling scheme, um, whereby we provide a system for our customers to place their offcuts from their pre-consumer glass into bags, and then we fetch it back to Egbra for, for reuse within the furnace. And if this scheme wasn't in place, what would happen to this glass otherwise? So some of the material would undoubtedly go to landfill. Glass is infinitely recyclable, so it's the, the, the ideal material uh, for the closed loop and the, the circular economy. Sangaban is a company most people probably haven't heard of, but its products are used every day throughout the UK in the construction, mobility and healthcare industries. A diverse portfolio of businesses but with a shared direction. We build sustainability into our workflows by making sure every business has a very clear roadmap towards our target of net carbon zero by 2050. So we review a roadmap by plants, by business, of what they're going to do year by year to reduce the energy consumption, reduce the CO2 and improve the performance of their products. Sangaban's new glass furnace follows that roadmap, as well as being more fuel efficient, leading to less CO2 being produced from making the glass. This £30 million investment will enable Sangaban to make more high quality glass with an increased proportion of recycled material. In recent years, we've returned 50,000 tonnes of cullet to site to use in the furnace. Now, some of that comes from our customers, it's the offcuts as they make windows. Where we're now pushing is to actually remove those windows from buildings and bring that glass back to site to use that in replace of raw materials. So the, the supplies of sand and other raw materials are finite. So we recognize that the ability to reuse cullet is enormous. So when people talk about the circular economy, you're putting that into practice? Absolutely, and have been for a number of years. But that's just one of the benefits. This more efficient furnace and a greater reliance on recycled materials are both helping to cut carbon emissions. Sustainability is vital for us at Sangaban in the way that we operate, whether it be making the products, working with employees or delivering the products to our customers and how they use them in the end. And we try to make it a, a top-down process, but also a bottom-up involving all the employees and also listening to our customers as well, so that we can work with them to deliver our purpose for Sangaban, which is making the world a better home. This factory doesn't just produce glass, it also applies thermal coatings to stop heat from escaping. Good for household budgets, even better at reducing emissions. So you have this A, B, C, D uh, uh, ranking and, and with an insulated window with a thermal efficient coating you can go to A, A plus, so type of energy efficiency which is, uh, which is massive. So I believe buildings have a massive role to play in energy and in sustainability. So the way we produce and the material we produce, energy efficient coating and also uh, the way we use our business and processes to make it more sustainable has a huge role to play in, uh, in that game indeed. And that's why San Gaban is working hard to get that message across. Glass has a critical role to play in improving the insulation of the UK's housing stock. Now, old window glass would typically go to landfill. What we're doing is recovering that old glass and reprocessing it and remanufacturing it into high performance, highly insulating new window glass for high performance new windows. By doing that, we're reducing the need to extract raw materials, uh, but also reducing energy and CO2 in our manufacturing process. 
and by continuing to innovate across products and processes, Sangaban remains determined to meet its 2030 science-based verified targets on its journey to its ultimate goal of net zero carbon by 2050. We've got lots of things to do. We've got longer term dreams, such as net carbon zero factories. We're trying to build the first one in plasterboard in Finland at the moment, and then we'll bring the technology to the UK. And we've got many challenges. That's the exciting thing. Underpinned by a simple philosophy. If we want to stay at the top of the game, which, which is what we do today, we need to constantly think ahead. 